I'm Courtney Bierman. I'm a senior at Millard South. And this poem is called Cassie with an I. We found you on a Tuesday. You were dependency in its purest form, rolling pin skin stretched desperately over a rib cage, curled into a perfect circle compact, squeezing out the last drops of security inside an ironic prison. I don't remember if you stood up when you stopped. I will never forget. The first time I saw your eyes, the most meaningful shade of brown, chronically sad, Cassie. This poem is for you, baby. Peanut butter puppy afraid of thunderstorms and ferrets and the dark. Won't walk after sunset surrogate mother, keeper of abandoned bunnies with velvet ears, left swatch subtly notched. Cassie, my chest still grows tight at the memory of you grooming our pet rats. You are a better mother than I could ever hope to be. But that's okay. Because why would I have children when I can just have dogs? I love you best on our barefoot walks that test my patience. Because we have to stop every time you smell pee. I love you best sunbathing. The perfect image of contentment, dormant and innocent, in the warmest spot on our porch. I love you best when I join you. Scratching your ears until you fall back asleep and pressing my face to your baked back to inhale the sunlight. Cassie, you are the only other living thing allowed on my bed, but only because I'm grateful. It took 12 years to find you. The search began the moment I was born into this dog lover's existence, unable to hold on to my sister's retreating heel as we were separated for the first time. Even my riotous immune system couldn't keep me from learning the names of every dog in the neighborhood. I like to tell mom and dad how glad I am that we found you that it wasn't a family who wouldn't appreciate how weird you are. The only introvert dog I've ever known, you have your father's social skills. <laughs> Passive silent treatment, you only bark in emergencies like when our house is invaded by plumbers, <laughs> or when we pick you up from the dog sitters, where a week before we cried together as you were left behind. I want to thank you, Cassie. You are the answer to every bit of my nomadic love. I couldn't wait any longer. I was already picking you out from under my fingernails, my feet grew prescient calluses, my knees molded to accommodate the shape of your head. Cassie, I am like you. I don't do well with separation. I will be leaving you in the fall, but don't you leave me back. I can't stop the snowstorm on your fur or the lumps growing on your tummy. All I can do is kiss your snout before I leave in the morning, hug you too tightly the moments I'm especially aware of your mortality, trying to press the memory of you into my chest, letting go at the threshold gasp, peel off my socks, and take you on a walk before it gets dark. 